Hello, Dr. Kemp here, The Hammer Doc. I want to share with you how I test for the plate voltage on a 6550 tube used in a Leslie amplifier. This is a Leslie 122 amplifier. You can do the same thing with the Leslie 147 amplifier or a 251. I have um, my lead connected to pin 3 of this 6550 socket. I have, the, of course, the tube uh, installed, and you would do the same, use the same procedure uh, for this 6550 as well. Okay, so we're just going to do one, and, and you just repeat the procedure. This is pin 3, and uh, the, this green wire comes off of the output transformer. Uh, this is the primary side, primary winding, and you have another one, a brown wire that goes to this side. This is pin 3, again known as uh, it leads to the plate of the, of the tube. So you have 3 four and five are significant for uh, the evaluation of a tube in a Leslie amplifier. And so we will check uh, all of those in, in subsequent videos. But for this video, we're looking at pin three the, uh, in the evaluation of the plate in the 6552. And the number that we're looking for in terms of uh, determining whether that uh, is... Uh, a good tube or not, is 415. So we're going to go over here and we're going to turn on the Variac and turn it up to 117 volts. Okay, on the Variac. And the number we'll be looking for over here is about 415 Votes DC. All right. So that's what we want. As close to that as possible. So as you can see, as the voltage is going up, it's coming down here. As the tube is warming up, um, we're getting 434 votes on the plate. So uh, that's close to the 415, and so um, so far in terms of the plates of this tube, this tube is testing good. All right, so we'll come back and I'll, I'll do a couple more videos so you can see how I look at uh, the screen as well as the grid on the 6550 tube. So until then, this is Dr. Kemp, the Hammond Doc, saying to you, Peace out.